Hey everyone, this is Lily from Genera Studio. We are a browser-based tool for designing game-ready clothing. In this video, I will show you how our MetaHuman outfit templates work with the parametric body shaping system that was released with the latest Unreal 5.6 update. This parametric system is pretty cool and was much needed. Now you can build completely custom MetaHuman bodies with the help of sliders and our garments adapt instantly. You can also iterate a lot on the textures because all you need to do once you have the clothing set up as a resizable outfit is to just swap the materials. Okay, let's get started. Fire up Unreal 5.6 and create a new empty project. The first thing we will do is install the MetaHuman plugins that are needed so that we can have the MetaHuman creator in editor. So just take everything and restart. After the restart, go to project settings, find the MetaHuman character plugin and enable show compatibility mode bodies. These give access to 18 fixed body types from the older MetaHuman creator web app. This is needed because our current clothing range is fitted to the regular medium male and female bodies. Let's get going with the MetaHuman creator. First time opening, it will miss some project settings. Press enable missing, wait for the restart, and we can start customizing our body. With the plugins installed and the project set up, open the in-editor MetaHuman Creator. Use the ribbon menu on the left to access every editable component of the character. The body editing tools are pretty cool. These include blend, conform, and model tabs for shaping the body. In the model tab, use the new parametric sliders to adjust proportions in real time. Select a compatibility mode body and convert it into a parametric body. This keeps the correct base for general garments, but adds the flexibility of the new system. When you are ready to export a character, download the textures. Choose 4K texture resolution if you want to balance quality and performance. Next, press Create Full Rig. This process takes a few minutes, but it's worth it. We will be needing the rig skeletal mesh so that we can transfer the skin weights to the clothing item and then bring everything back to Unreal. When the rig is done, you can go and assemble the character in the assembly menu. You can leave the settings on default, so I left it on cinematic preset. The assembly will populate the project with the required files and folders, materials and the skeletal meshes that we will need to export. Now it's time for clothing. Go to generallabs.app and make an account. It's super easy and it takes only a couple of seconds. Then you can load the studio straight in your browser. We have a huge range of MetaHuman templates ready for you to customize. Select the garment template you want to use. Use our mix and match feature to build a full look and start texturing. Our texturing engine is extremely easy and intuitive to use with simple slider control. You can also add decals if you want to accessorize the look further. Make sure to check out our latest AI texturing tools as well to speed up your workflow. When you're ready, export the outfit as an FBX and make sure to choose the right texture resolution for yourself. If it's your first time using the studio, make sure to allow the website to download files. You will get a zip file that will contain the FBX and the big texture maps. Here is the template in Blender. You can see how optimized and nicely done the topology is, and it includes the albedo, normal, and mass map maps. Now let's get back to Unreal. Locate the folders created during the assembly process. These include the blueprint and separate folders for body, head, and groom. One of them contains the skeletal mesh for the MetaHuman base body. Let's export it as an FBX. Regarding export settings, some of these you don't need, for example, level of detail, vertex colors or collision, feel free to untick them. I just left it at this to get going. And now let's jump into Blender and import our body. Let's import the clothing. Select the garment, shift select the armature, press Ctrl P, and under armature deform, select with automatic weights to transfer the skin weights. This is a quick fix, and you may need manual fixes in areas like the underarm or the crotch. I will leave some recommendations in the description on other typical workflows to quickly transfer skin weights. Let's export the file. Select the mesh and the armature. Check the transform so that they are Unreal compatible. Set the smoothing groups to face. Untick Add Modifiers. 
untick and leaf bones. And now we can go back to Unreal. Um, when you're importing a skeleton, you should make sure that you select the skeleton to be the metahuman-based skeleton. And we are not far off from having a parametric clothing item. Now let's import the textures from General Studio, the albedo, the normal, and the mass maps. In our upcoming feature, this will be embedded already in the FBX or GLB, but for now you just need to drag and drop it. In the material editor, drag them into the graph and connect each to the correct input on the base material node. The must map packs metallic in blue, roughness in green, and ambient occlusion in red. And don't forget to set the material to two-sided, so it displays correctly from all angles. Then save. And now we get back to the project and we start our parametric workflow. Basically, you create a clothing asset, right-click cloth asset, double-click open, delete all the nodes here. This data flow editor shows some really good default nodes, but we don't need them. We just need a skeletal mesh import and a cloth asset terminal. So hook them up. And then in the skeletal mesh import, make sure you put the outfit skeletal mesh that you're working with and then save. Okay, now let's prepare the outfit asset. Right click in the content browser and create an outfit asset. In the template selection window, choose resizable outfit. Once it opens, in the data flow members panel, enable sized outfit source. Then click the plus icon to create an index for each cloth asset. Expand the index and assign your cloth asset as the source. And under source body parts, assign the corresponding skeletal mesh. It might take a couple of minutes, I imagine this is where the algorithm prepares the clothing mesh to make sure the body and the clothing fits each other even with the parametric changes. Now, the last step is to go into the MetaHuman Creator and drop in your outfit asset so that you can use it on your MetaHuman. Just open hair and clothing and drop it in the outfit clothing section. Find the outfit asset. I prepared a couple of other ones, the denim and the sneakers, just that this poor guy is not too naked. Double click and it applies it to the avatar. You can also um, double click and that removes it or just use the buttons to perform the actions. And when everything is ready, Obviously, the fun part comes to change the body shape. Now we rig this character so we can export the skeletal mesh with the skin weight data. So just save everything and remove the rig. Because with the rig, you cannot actually use the parametric sliders. Okay, once it's done, um, you can go into body, model, and play around with the sliders. You will see the outfit resizing to the new body shape. Um, it's pretty cool. You can go a long way with these. What I recommend is if you're aiming for a more female character with bigger um, breast area, then export the um, compatibility mode body from the female medium average one um, because the breast area can cause a bit of an issue even though the resizable outfit is pretty good um, conforming to a body mesh. And now I'm just going to have a little fun and set up the skin tone, facial features, add some groom. We definitely want to check out how it animates. So we need to create the full rig again in order to animate it. This might take a couple of seconds or 10 to 15, but it's worth the wait because then we can see our nicely dressed metahuman having a really, really nice animations. I'm going to set it to animate with the idle animation, which is a pretty nice uh, default one. Ta-da! We are done. You have a fully rigged, fully clothed metahuman. Don't forget to assemble your character again. And then you're good to go. You can drop it in your project. Here we are. This is our final character in our level. I added the third uh, person project just to kind of steal some animation with retargeting. And here is a little trick for you. We have tons of AI texturing tools if um, if you feel lazy and you just want to have a quick outfit on your MetaHuman. So in General Studio, you can use our placement of our texturing quickly kind of iterate on the outfit you've already set up in Unreal. Because when you export the outcome, you can just use the maps and update the material in Unreal so that actually you don't have to do any kind of new actions on the asset side. You can just have a quick version of the same asset with a different texture, which I think is pretty cool. There you go. 
I know that this workflow is not the easiest, but I think if you do it once or twice, you can get easily used to it. And with General Studio, you can design, texture, and fit outfits for any meta human body type. Try the full workflow today and use up your free export in the studio or start our seven day pro trial for free. Link in the description. See you next time.